So you want to do your stairs. You want to make these stairs look like this one. Things you're going to need. The important things you're going to need. Hey, you're going to need your risers. You're going to need your tread or your stairs. You're going to need your bull nose. Now, you could get your stairs with the molding already on or you can add the molding later your choice and then the other convenient things are glue to glue it down and you want to have some cutting material some saws table saw preferably but let me show you how we're going to do these we're going to take these into these as you can see i already have the risers on these we're going to keep working up the stairs we're going to do the risers first and then we're going to put the stair on one of the reasons you do the risers first is you're going to have to change, if you ever have to change the stairs, it would be easier to pull this thing off and change it. Whereas if you had your riser on it, when you pull it off, you would have a gap there. So it's really your choice how you want to do it. That's what I find the easiest. Let's get to work. To get started, we want to make sure all the stairs are cleared of all material. You might have to remove carpeting and padding, which then you'll have to pull all these staples. Uh, you want to get rid of any stair treads you might have on there. And then you want to check for uh, rotting or bad wood. You just want to make sure you have a solid base for it. Now that the steps are free of all carpeting, we're going to make sure all the staples and tacks are off. We're going to get ready to cut the bull nose off of these. So we're going to cut them so that they're even. So next we're going to measure it and then cut it. When cutting the bull nose, what we want to do is measure the area that needs to be cut off. So we'll have a flush riser. Now there's several ways to do this. You can take your tape measure, uh, mark both sides, and then find a straight edge. I just happen to use the riser. It's a great little straight edge. And make my mark so I have a guideline when I'm cutting with my circular saw. Uh, if you want, you could also take a square and make your line using a square. Whatever tools you have, it's ever convenient. But we're going to go ahead and mark all the stairs. And then we're going to start cutting all the bull noses off. When using the circular saw to cut the bull noses, you're going to run into a problem. The saw is not going to be able to make a complete cut because it's going to hit the wall. So what you're going to find is you may have to finish the cut using a, an oscillating saw. Now, if you don't have an oscillating saw, you could use a hand saw. But, but I find an oscillating saw a very handy tool. To, even if the blade wavers a little bit, you can clean up your cut to make it a nice fit. Okay, when putting the riser up, two measurements you want to watch. You want to watch the height. First, we want to line it up here. And then it looks like we have to do some trimming. So we'll make our marks here. And because this side is lined up, we'll just have to cut this here. So we'll make our two marks and then cut these. Now that the riser is cut, we're going to double check it, looks even on top, and it lines up great. We're going to double check the area, make sure there is no staples, nails, or things that we need to knock down, but it looks good. Now, already we're going to apply the glue.
get it into place, line it up, and the riser looks good. We got two inch nails. Now we'll be ready for the step. Now that the risers are all complete, let's start getting the stair treads ready. Again, same process. We want to make sure it's a nice, clean surface. And then we're going to look for two measurements. We want to measure the width of the steps, because we'll have to make a cut there, and then the length of the steps. So we'll have a second cut there. Same process as the riser. Once we have all the cuts done, we will take our tread, place it on the stairs, and check measurements. Looking that it's a tight fit in all areas, we will then add our glue, making sure the glue is in all the corners. Then we will gently add the tread on and then put some pressure on it uh, both forward and back, right and left, make sure we're centered. Put some pressure on it so we know the glue is contacted. Then we will take our nail gun and nail our tread into place. We will repeat this process for all the steps going up and finish our treads. Now with the stairs complete, we want to add the bull nose. First, we have to take the measurement and make a cut at a 45 degree angle. Before we're ready to glue the bullnose, we must make sure the area is clean and level. So we'll take the oscillating saw and just trim it up so it's a nice, even, level uh, surface. Then we can glue the bullnose and nail it up. Repeat this process for the rest of the steps and you're almost done. For our final cut, we will need to cut the end piece or the cap to that bull nose. Earlier, we asked you to save the end piece of the stair tread where we will cut that 45 degree angle piece out and insert it. Now that we're done with all the construction phase, now comes the finish phase, all right? So what we've done is we're gonna take and we're gonna use a clear coat polyurethane and we're just going to easily put it on with the brush. Now I do this, and you can tell the difference of this unfinished piece versus the finished piece. Um, this gives us a clear finish, which shows the grain, which is great. I mean, you could use a color stain, but then you defeat the whole purpose of showing the great grain of this oak, the whole purpose of it. Um, we have three plus coats on. In between the coats, we want to just take a sandpaper and just finely sand it. We use anywhere from, uh, the highest you want to go is maybe 80. I mean, you can go from 200 to 80 in, in the course of the sandpaper. And you want to just hit it lightly. You don't want to uh, really uh, uh, wear off or sand off the, the coat. You just want to knock the high points so you get a nice smooth finish. And that's what you have. And then you have your final product. Hey, Hope you learned something from this video. I hope it helps you put in steps. Thanks for watching. I'm Ken Deiniger with another Backyard Project. Let's go walk some steps. <laughs>